Hey class, welcome to lesson 8.3, Connect Fractions to Division. Our essential question is, how does a fraction represent division? So, a fraction can be written as a division problem. For example, 3 fourths equals the numerator 3 divided by the denominator 4. Another example would be 12 halves equals 12 being the numerator divided by 2 being the denominator. So let's take a look at our unlock the problem. There are three students in a crafts class and two sheets of construction paper for them to share equally. What part of the construction paper will each student get? So let's start by using a drawing. So we're going to divide 2 divided by 3 with 3 students. So with 2 divided by 3, the first step is to draw lines to divide each piece of paper into 3 equal pieces. Well, we know if we're dividing it into thirds, we need to make 2 cuts. So it's 1, 2, 1, 2. So each student's share of one sheet of construction paper is one third. Because there's three students, one third for one student, one third for the second student, one third for the third student. So now, step two says count the number of thirds each student gets. Since there are two sheets of construction paper, each student will get two of the thirds. or 2 times 1 third. So now let's look at step 3. It says to complete the number sentence. So 2 divided by 3 equals, and this goes 2 divided by 3 equals 2 thirds. Because when we go back here and look, it says 2 times 1 third, and if we solve that out, we know that 2 goes over 1 times 1 third equals 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3. So 2 thirds and 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds. So since 2 thirds times 3 equals 2, the quotient is correct. So each student will get two-thirds of a sheet of construction paper. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So let's read the word problem associated with this one. It says, four friends share six granola bars equally. How many granola bars does each friend get? So we have to set up our division problem. We divide 6 divided by 4. So let's break it down step by step. So step 1 says to draw lines to divide each of the 6 bars into fourths. So let's go ahead and do that. And we know if we're cutting into fourths, we make 3 cuts. 1, 2, 3. Not exactly perfectly even, but 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So each friend share of one granola bar, because there are four friends, so that would be one piece for one friend, one piece for friend two, one piece for friend three, and one piece for friend four. So each share each friend's share of one granola bar is one-fourth. So now, step two says to count the number of fourths each friend gets. So since there are six granola bars, each friend will get. So let's just do that. And the way that I like to do it is to keep it simple. Since we have four friends, we're going to number them. And we're, then we'll come back and circle. So let's do this. So we have friend one, friend two, friend three, friend four, 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 
and friend one, friend two, friend three, and friend four. So now we'll go back and circle one, all the ones. And when we count those up, we will see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which then becomes our numerator, six pieces, but each one of these bars is still cut into fours, and that remains our denominator. So six fours. So since there are six granola bars, each friend will get, and we just counted one, two, three, four, five, six, get six of the fourths or six fourths. So now let's look at step three. Complete the number sentence. Write the fraction as a mixed number in simplest forms. So we know that six divided by four equals six fourths or one and one half. Because if we take six fourths and divide it out, that's one. And then one times four is four. Six minus four is two. This becomes our new numerator. Our denominator stays as four. And we know that we can reduce two-fourths down to one-half. And that's how we get our one-and-a-half. So now we'll check our answer. Since six-fourths times four equals six, the quotient is correct. So each friend will get six-fourths or one and one-half granola bars. So now, let's look at the try this section. Ms. Ruiz has a piece of string that is 125 inches long. For a science experiment, she divides the string equally among eight groups of students. How much string will each group get? So you can represent this problem as a division equation or a fraction. So divide, we'll write it as a division. Write the remainder as a fraction. 125 divided by eight equals, and you guys know how to do that. We're just taking the numerator of 125, putting it in the box as the dividend. Our divisor becomes the eight, we know we can't do 1 divided by 8. 12 divided by 8 is 1 times 8 is 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. Bring down our 5. And 45 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. Minus, and our remainder is 5. We write that as a fraction. The 5 becomes the numerator. Our denominator stays the same at 8. So we know our answer is 15 and 5 eighths. Or we can write 1 25th eighths as a mixed number in simplest form. And we do that the same way using the exact same division problem. Our numerator is our dividend, our denominator is our divisor, and we divide out exact same. And we realize that we get an answer of 15 and 5 eighths. So each group will get 15 and 5 8 inches of strain. And we are not going to worry about the question at the bottom. You guys can go ahead and mark that out. So now let's take a look at our password for today's lesson. Be sure you respond to the word problem below and bring the answer with you to class tomorrow. And the word problem says, Marcus jogged 3.5 miles or 3 and a half miles on Monday, three and eight tenth miles on Tuesday, and four and five tenths miles on Wednesday. If he jogged a total of 15 miles from Monday through Thursday, how far did he jog on Thursday? Is it three and two tenths miles, three and eight tenths miles, four and two tenths miles, or 11 and eight tenths miles? Again, make sure you record your answer and bring it with you to class tomorrow. See you then.